everyone, it's Teacher Chaos, and welcome back once again to my Craft Corner, where we get to make cool things to help us think about our big ideas each and every week. Last week we were talking about patience, and we got to make our very own scratch art to help us think about the importance of waiting patiently for God's plan to be revealed. Well, as we're waiting, we know that we have hope, because we know that God does have a plan. So this week we're talking about hope. We learned about how Noah sent the dove out and it returned with an olive branch in its beak, and how Noah then knew that there were still plants on the earth and that the water was going back down. When Noah sent the dove out the second time, it didn't return at all because it had found a safe place to nest. God watches over the plants and the animals, and he's also watching over us. In fact, I have a verse about that from Matthew 6, verse 27 to 30, and it says, Can you add even one hour to your life by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the wild flowers grow? They don't work or make clothing. But here is what I tell you. Not even Solomon in all his royal robes was dressed like one of these flowers. If that is how God dresses the wild grass, won't he dress you even better? This verse is from a larger passage known as the Sermon on the Mount. And in this passage, Jesus talks about quite a number of things, including the reasons why we don't have to worry. When we have hope, when we know that God is watching over us, we don't have to be worried. When we look around at nature, we look at the plants, we look at the animals, we see how God takes care of them. And if God takes care of them, he will also take care of us. To help us think about this verse and this idea, this week we get to make paper flowers. So to make these flowers, you're going to want to start with a sheet of paper, and you're going to cut it in half lengthwise. Once you have your sheet of paper, you're going to draw a line along the bottom edge, about three centimeters from the bottom, and then you're going to cut thin strips from the top down into that space. Your strips should be no more than half a centimeter thick, and you're going to cut them all along the sheet of paper. Once you finish that, you can set your paper aside, and you're going to need a wire and a button. If your wire is thin, you're also going to need some sort of a stick or skewer, but if you've got a thicker wire, you won't. You're going to fold your wire in half, and you're going to string the button through the wire so that it sits on the folded portion. At this point, if you are using a stick, you're also going to attach the stick to the wire here. Once you're done with that, you're going to take that piece of paper that you cut and you're going to roll it around the wire to create the flower shape. And then you can roll the petals outward. To hold it in place, you're going to take washi tape or ordinary tape and wrap it all the way around to hold it all together. It's really important to make sure that you cover any sharp ends, whether that's on the end of the stick or on the ends of the wire. But let me show you how it's done. You have no birthday, you have always been. You alone have no beginning and no middle and no end. You're always with me, you are everywhere In New Jersey or in Egypt, even outer space, you're there Everything you are and do is unbelievable but true You're the God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever Exclamation points abound to the God of Wow! So there we have it, friends. That is how we made our paper flowers. Every time you look at your flower, let it remind you of how much God cares for you and the fact that he's always watching over you. Whenever you go outside and you see the plants and the animals and how God takes care of them, remember that God's taking care of you too. People are the crowning glory of God's creation, the one thing that he called very good, and he loves us so much. When we know that he is watching over us, we know that we can have hope. We don't need to be worried or be afraid. Now I'm going to pass to teacher Nicole, who's going to show us a different way to make these flowers. Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of crafts videos. Today we are making paper flowers just like Miss Karis's. I have mine here with the button, the paper, and the wire covered with decorative washi tape. If you don't have washi tape, that's okay. You can use masking tape or whatever you'd like, and it can be whatever color you would like as well. If you don't have wires, buttons, and things like that, no problem. You can make 
origami flowers. This is the one I made today. But you can do whatever you want. There's so many options on the internet and your moms and your dads can help you. I hope you have a great week. I can't wait to see all of your paper flowers. Bye!